Don't Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Today was the day that the number one high school basketball team in the state, the undefeated 24 and 0 Fruit Wildcats, played host to the Broomfield Eagles for the Sweet 16 of the 6A playoffs. And if you thought this place was buzzing for round one, the Fruit of Faithful took it to another level today. And unlike round one, the Wildcats started on fire up 11 nothing in the first. But more than the offense, this first quarter was about the defense. An absolute block party at the Wildcat House, just one after the other. Jet Wells, a guard with four blocks in the first half. And this one right here, well, it leads to an easy land for Lucas Weaver, but they weren't done. Daniel Thomason this time says, no, 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 not today. And Thomason, he of course can score and score a plenty as well. And now a nice feed down low by Isaac Belknap and Weaver with the finish as Fruta leads 15 to 7. But Broomfield found their shot late in the first to cut it to a three-point game. But you know who else can knock down the default to the Fruta Wildcats, of course. Max Orchard increases the lead. And now Jet Wells. Boy, he was everywhere in this one. And a reminder that Wells is only a sophomore. And this man is only a junior. But boy, he plays like a pro. The two-hand slam fires up the crowd and puts Fruta up 10. And the Wildcats would take a 30-19 lead over Broomfield to the halftime locker room. And in the second, more of the same. Wilson Siegman with a tough bucket. And now down low, Thomas in the post. You can't stop it. You can only hope to contain it. 21 points on the night for DT. And boy, the way these cats play together, always on the same page. It's fun to watch. And in transition, here it comes. Boom! The Tomahawk slam. And this place is an insane asylum. It is a party at Fruta Monument High School. Even the officers get involved in the fun as Fruta plays four complete quarters. Handling the Broomfield Eagles from start to finish, 61 to 44, and the Wildcats do it again. Get to 25 and 0, and they are off to the Denver Coliseum, where they will compete in the grade eight this Thursday to take on the eight seed. Eagle Crest Raptors. And on the front range, the Grand Junction Tigers season has come to an end. DJ falls 70 to 57 to a great Lewis Palmer team, the same team that ended Central season last week, but truly a heck of a season for head coach Dutch Johnson, Will Applegate, Declan Lake, Keon Wright, Brett Whitek, and all of the Tigers who won their first playoff game since 2017 and got off to their best start since 2013 and at Debec High School, the Plateau Valley Cowboys dominate Vail Christian 62 to 33. And boy, this Cowboy team has simply plowed through the competition night in and night out as they win their 20th game in a row. And they are the 2A District 5 champions. Next up, it's the 2A state tournament next week. And how about this? The Grand Valley girls basketball team remains undefeated at 22 and 0 as they just escape a great comeback attempt from Roaring Fork to take to take home the 3A Western Slope League title. Boy, watch out for these Lady Cardinals in the state tournament and at the diamond. The CMU Mavs they dropped the series to Northwest Nazarene. The Nighthawks losing three out of the four games, but it did not come without some excitement for CMU as outfielder Paul Schoenfeld felt hit for the cycle. The first Mav to do so in three years. Next up, the Mavs will be in Southern California, just outside of LA Monday to take on Azusa Pacific University. A great day of sports on this glorious Saturday. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.